Well, here we go. We're off and running here with a, hopefully another video here for you, for all you folks out there. And you know, before I kind of get into this video, I've kind of come up with a, with a saying here that I kind of like lately, which really is applying in a lot of situations and a lot of, uh, applying to a lot of people, in fact. And it's as follows, evolution waits for no one and for no belief systems, period. <laughs> I love it. Kind of covers everything, doesn't it? Okay, now, on the list here, first of all, and these are all by request, and this request here is for heart center connections, variations, and assorted attachments. Woo. Heart center connections, variations, and attachments. Woo. <laughs> I gotta do it twice because this is deep. Go get your swimsuit on, guys. This one's gonna be deep. All right. One of the things that I love about doing the work that I do is I come across a lot of people from different parts of the world, from different backgrounds, from different cultures. Um, and I hear more stories than you can shake a stick at about heart center connections, variations, intensities, attachments, and whatever else you can possibly imagine. And I have to say right off the bat in this video, I really, I really feel a lot of, uh, sorrow is not the word here, empathy for people who are beginning to awaken now, be they in their adult years, but even more so in the teenage years who are opening up and awakening and the heart center activation is starting off. Because I can tell you the very first thing that I have learned from everybody that I've been talking to and they've been sharing with me is the process of evolution is speeding up to light speed, literally. It is not waiting for anyone. It is not conforming to anyone. It is just speeded up. And I have to think, I have to think, is that is because it is necessary to do so at this particular point in time, because a lot of people are not listening, and they are focused so much on the external world, and the entertainment factor of life, and the stimulation of life that goes on around them, that the only way to get their attention literally, in a heart center activation at this particular point, is let's give it to them megaton. A megaton of heart center blast. But let's not do it with just one person. Let's do it with a whole pile of people. And let's complicate it even more by having some people who are already well along in the pathway, who have incorporated the heart center activation, and who have made a connection with someone and they can believe or accept that it's a soulmate or a twin flame or whatever you want to call it kind of a connection. And then suddenly they start having additional connection with other people. And not only could they be a male to a female, it could be two females to two females, two males to male. You could have all kinds of combinations going on here. All right. And everybody must dig into their belief system, the ideologies, their philosophies to understand exactly what the hell is going on. Are they losing it? What is transpiring and how do they deal with it? All right. And that's what's happening right now. It is. Uh, of all of the things in the ascension of consciousness is taking place on the planet, this is the number one item that is grabbing the most attention on the internet and especially on YouTube, uh, having these heart-to-heart -heart, uh, connections and the attachments that go along with them. Because everybody, here's the issue, okay? The, 
the idea is this, this is when, when you have a heart center awakening, you have to go back into your belief systems of anything that you may have that is in reference to this particular thing. And when you don't have anything in there, which probably 90% of the people don't, what do you do? You go on the internet or you go looking. Nowadays, I think most of the people do their looking on, on YouTube and type in a couple of words and voila, they're going to come up with soulmate. They're going to come up with twin flame. And if they get really lucky, they're going to find somebody uh, who gives some information on heart center uh, activation. They may describe the symptoms, all right, initially, physically, what's going on. And then some of the symptoms that goes along as the personality of the person begins to change and evolve. And then they get to the particular stage now that's really kicking in, really kicking in, is multiple heart center connections going on with, I might add, emotional attachment. And in a great many cases, even sexual attraction mixed in. And some of these people are already in relationships and marriages or connections with their twin flame. And they're going like, what the hell is going on? All right. And I'm going to enlighten you. All right. We are moving to a point in the evolution of the heart center chakra where we are now emanating energy from the heart center connection or to through the heart center that is gone beyond, and I'm going to use this word, gone beyond unconditional love. And this is a very popular theme in the spiritual community that everybody is under. I love you unconditionally which in my opinion is probably the most ridiculous statement you can make because it comes from a belief system that no longer fits the situation. Because if you have this heart glow, heart intense connections with four or five or six people and you're having it on a second uh, to every two or three days, you're connecting with somebody else, um, unconditional love <laughs> doesn't really apply anymore because look at all the conditions that you're experiencing when you're having this stuff going on and then you're trying to analyze and intellectualize and figure this all out with your you know, mind-brain function and it's not working. So the idea here is this is what's taking place. From an evolutionary standpoint, and this is not from a spiritual standpoint, the evolutionary process is moving us in mass to a situation where we don't experience, now I want to emphasize this, and this is an important point here, and I hope people get what I'm going to say here. In the past, and many people will agree with me on this point, when it came to love, what we experienced was what I call the emotional experience of love. All right, And the emotional experience of love came with all of the attachments and the trappings that went along with it, and all of the positive negative. And most of you know that the emotional experience of love can be like a roller coaster, up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. And it has it ebbs and flows and valleys. And it can really, emotional love, get you to experience what some people like to call the pain body. Okay, when someone or someone doesn't do what you want to do or they're not fulfilling your emotional needs, blah, 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 and all that caca poo poo that we've been going around for thousands of years and it's still not working. What's happening now is the heart center chakra has moved away from the emotional condition of expressing love. And this is where unconditional love comes into play. All right. People say, well, I love you unconditional because their heart center is open. So they figure they can detach by calling it unconditional love, which in itself is an attachment in itself. So now you are experiencing multi attachments and connections to other people and you can have them going on on a consistent basis mixed in as I said with the sexuality attraction at the same time you can be in a relationship and all of this is going on what's happening because you have moved away and this is a progress report it gives you an indication of where you're at you have moved away from the emotional experience of love relationship and sexuality all right you have moved up into the heart center chakra realm 
expression of consciousness, which is pure and balanced and equalized connection to other individual at no longer the emotional level, but we'll call it the heart center level or source level, where you can actually experience another person and their essence and everything that they are through the connection through the heart center chakra. Now, keep in mind here that depending upon the individual, because each individual here is a universe unto themselves, all right? They have concepts of consciousness. They have levels uh, of consciousness. They have attained expression of consciousness in many different ways. So there's going to be a lot of variation here. But the mechanics of it are still relatively the same. So, for example, and I'll share a little bit of my experience here, if I may. What has happened is this. A few years ago, during the course of readings that I do for people, because I go into an altered state and I bring through higher self and higher self does the reading, what was happening is higher self was making these heart center connections with the people that I was doing the readings for. I actually called myself a heart center channel, and I've been doing that for years. But because I was in the altered state, I didn't really remember what was going on until I come back from doing the reading. And I would be aware that my heart center would be like really freaking big. And I would feel a lot of, at that time, what I called love and affection for the person that I just done the reading for. And in some cases, I would be very sexually attracted to them without really knowing why. And probably being a channel gave me an advantage because it gave me, it gave me the ability to be able to understand the process without getting my emotions in the way because I was in the altered state. So what happened was it was able to kind of template or download into my etheric body or the second body, if you want to call it that, and set up an energy wave pattern there so that later on as I started to become aware of it, it would be available to me. All right, And that's exactly what happened. One day it started to happen where I'm doing a simply a counseling session with an individual and suddenly I felt this very intense connection with them. I mean, my heart center just went open and completely went bananas, as it were. And uh, I was kind of taken back with it. And I also felt a very strong eye to eye contact connection with them. At the same time, the very strong heart center connection. But there was also something else. I felt almost a portion or a piece of my consciousness or my energy body or my being or my essence, whatever the hell you want to call it, actually jump out of my body. Well, not jump out, but move out of my body so that I could feel my body and I could feel this portion of myself. And it started to move towards this other person. Uh, and we're doing this on um, Skype. As a matter of fact, it was a Skype counseling session. So I immediately pulled back, obviously, because I didn't know what was going on. And it snapped back into the body. And it kind of went on with the session. But the, the lady in question had a really funny look on her face. And so at the end of the session, I said to her, did you experience what I experienced just a few moments ago? And she says, well, I experienced something. I said, well, would you do me a favor and share with me literally what you experienced? So she told me. And it was pretty much the same thing as me. And she panicked and pulled it back. So when push comes to shove, what happened after that is I had this happen several times after that, where I would be connecting with a person and the same thing would happen. And of course, I resisted it. And in a couple of occasions, there was a strong sexual attraction. So now I'm confused. Probably like many of you out there who might be watching this video. What the hell do I do now? So I sat down with Nicole and I said, OK, look, here's what's happening. I'm having these kind of really intense experiences and in connecting with people through Skype. And when I'm doing a console session, and she said, yeah, she's having the same thing come up. And she's doing the same thing, feeling the same thing. But she also added in 
at that particular point. She said, I didn't tell you this before. She said, but I'm going to tell you now. She said, I've been having experiences in meditation where I have been leaving the body and actually making a connection with another person and actually jumping into their body kind of thing. And I go, whoa, this is really getting deep here. So anyways, what happened is, on top of this, then I started hearing from other people who were saying relatively the same thing. So what I came to understand is this is a natural phenomenon, if you want to call it that way. This is nothing that's wrong with us organically or consciously or spiritually or from an evolutionary point of view. Gradually, well, scratch gradually, with an accelerated rate, this is going to continue to happen. And a lot of you out there are going to have to get used to this. And you may be in a stable relationship. You may have a loving wife or a loving husband or whatever. It may be a soulmate. It may be a twin flame, whatever label. And then suddenly you're all going to start experiencing this type of connection with other people. And it can be eye to eye, heart to heart. And it can be both at the same time. And what's going to happen is really going to confuse some of you. And some of you are not going to know what to do. If you happen to be single, well, that's another category altogether. Then you may decide to do whatever you choose to do. It's going to be an individual choice thing. That's for, not for me to say. All right. Everybody's going to have to kind of work it out as to what they do. And in many cases, because some of these connections at the heart to heart level, you're going to develop also what I have found is I have found with a few of these people that I've had the really good, solid connection, heart-to-heart -heart, heart connection with, I have found, given time, given time, and not doing anything hasty or rash or jumping anything, uh, jumping into anything too quickly because of old belief systems and philosophies that we may have hung on to, what I have found is these connections that are variations with other people have turned out to be really profound, deep, and meaningful friendships with a great many people. But more than that, the one thing that I found is we are beginning to form friendships that go beyond the physical type of friendship. You know, like you have a friend on you know, that you've known in school, or you have a friend down the road, or a neighbor, or you have this childhood friend that's still your best buddy now. Now what's happening is we're connecting with people from different parts of the world and different cultures and different ideologies and philosophies. And what's happening is we're, we're able to make that connection. Before the way we, we met people and we, we communicated with people who's either by social media like we do now, or you communicate with a person verbally, or you get to know them through Facebook or other way, but that's going to change. This is th those social media is going to be very primitive, a very primitive platform in the next few years, and I'll tell you why. Because in these connections that we're helping with people, once we go through this puberty stage that we're going through with them right now, with these multiple connections and attachments to people, and we get through the idea of stop thinking with our groin. Okay, when we have the sexual connection, you can understand that you can be stimulated sexually by another person who might be four or 5,000 miles away from you. And this can happen at random with different people and totally catch you by surprise. And you say, well, what the hell's going on? Because there is that bond of friendship and connection, and it's at the heart center level, it leaves out all of the belief system restrictions, all of the bodily function restrictions, and all of the cultural uh, belief systems and restrictions, and it free flows the energy between the two people. And you can have, as a matter of fact, if you want to experiment with this, if you have a, a group of people who you know that you make that connection with, I want to tell you something. Try and sit and meditate with three or four people who all have that connection going on amongst themselves. The energy that can be created and shared amongst the group. All right, and I'm not talking about you know, getting into a swingers group or some kind of sex thing or whatever. It's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about a high intensity, high energy exchange of energy, knowledge, and experience. 
that can be done energetically and downloaded through each one's heart center chakra and into the etheric and the sheath body as benefits and derives the continued evolutionary growth of people. And this is what is happening right now, unbeknown to a lot of us. This is what's going on, is as we have a few of us who have grown to a certain point that we're now running around and we're actually connecting with people. Like, I, I'll be honest with you. Every time I do a, a client, whether it's a counseling or a reading, it doesn't matter who they are, where they are, um, even where they are on the evolutionary conscious state or whatever, I make a heart-centered connection with everybody. I even do it when I'm doing videos on YouTube. Some of you can feel it. I make that heart-centered connection with you. And when I make that connection with you, you make it with me. And we are exchanging information. We are exchanging knowledge. We are exchanging, hi, how are you, <clears throat> kind of deal. We're becoming acquainted. Although we may never meet each other physically, in physical reality, we will know each other through the exchanges. And the reason that I say this happening is this, and this is another point that I want to bring that's going to throw some people off, I'm sure of it, is we don't all come from the same point of origin. All right, there are some who follow the religious philosophy that we all come from the same source. Uh, I'm not one of those who follow that. All right, I believe that a good number of us come from different points of origin, different places, different dimensions, different realities, different timeline, which is our point of origin. And I believe also that it was only intended for individuals coming in uh, to this particular experience or school to come in once and to do it only one time and then simply leave and go back to their point of origin. So what's happening is we are doing multicultural exchanges, literally, all right, at other levels that are beyond three-dimensional reality. And take a look at our take a look at our reality right now, all right? Physical reality. One of the things that I have noticed is this is we are so culturally bound in our own customs and traditions that we will defend and go to war and kill each other to defend our cultural belief systems in some cases. That's not indicative of an evolving species at all. That's indicative of deeply ingrained belief system. So if we're going to share multiculturalism, if I can put it that way, why continue to do it in the way that we're doing it? Why not doing it at a higher level and make it through the heart center chakra where these connections can be made, acquaintances can be made, and we bypass all of this self-perpetuated, self-created, three-dimensional, restricted, where one doesn't believe in a culture of another and all of this baloney that's going on. I almost said bullshit, didn't I? Yeah, well, there you go. I said it anyway. <laughs> oh, well, what the hell? Uh, and this is what's happening at this point. So if you look at it from this perspective, these connections you're having with other people, and in some cases you'll have them with somebody who you know, comes from a totally different culture, who doesn't even really speak the same language that you do, all right? Or if the belief system between the two of you is just like so far apart, not even funny. But here's the difference. The connection between the heart center chakra doesn't answer to all of that stuff. It can exchange with anyone, anywhere, at any time. Information, knowledge, and experience. We're going to have to get our heads around that particular type of the theme in that particular situation. And... This is what we've evolved to at this particular point, and it is going to continue down the road. Now, I don't want to make this video too, too long. I just wanted to kind of touch base with you on that particular thing. And I know this will probably be, be helpful to some people as they're kind of going along and awakening and hearts and everything. But this is what's happened. This is a major phase that we're going through right now. And remember what I said. Evolution waits for no one and no belief system that exists. When you can wrap your head around that, all right, then a lot of the states of sadness, depression, and melancholy that you're having is just, you'll realize, is just your resistance to a process that's going to continue with or without you. This is evolution we're talking about here. This is not spiritual growth. Spiritual growth is nothing more than a misplaced church service. Okay? That's all it is. Evolutionary growth is a totally different process. 
with totally different outcome than the spiritual community are prepared to take in at this particular point in time. But they'll get there with a lot of wailing and gnashing of teeth. <laughs> they will get there. Right, have a good day, everybody.